Hello guys, it's Jonathan and welcome to another Decentralized Finance tutorial. Today we are going to talk about why I think sex centralized exchanges are going to going down soon and DEXES and DeFi is taking over, which means that most of the volume and most of the activity and the traffic is going from centralized exchange to DeFi, to decentralized exchange, to the future. And we're gonna look at different examples, different articles and different things that happens right now in the world, in the crypto space. And why I think this thing will change dramatically of all the crypto world and the blockchain world and how we actually, uh, what kind of thing we are willing to expect in the near future. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button so anytime I post these kind of updates, these kind of tutorials, you can watch them as soon as possible. So sexes are going down, centralized exchanges are going down, and decentralized exchanges are getting bigger and bigger, more volume, more transactions, more mainstream are getting into these kind of things and leaving and abandoning these kind of centralized exchanges. And you might ask why and show us a proof. So don't worry, in this video I will show you a proof and we'll speak about it and how it will influence the tokens of this kind of decentralized exchanges and the ecosystem in general. And you will see actually what is the reason for this kind of thing. So it's not news that countries are against crypto banks, uh, governments, they don't like cryptocurrencies because it's very hard to control. So it started with Bitcoin and then the Ethereum came and all the other tokens on Ethereum and now you have all the other blockchains, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Avalanche, Phantom, Solana, so many blockchains and so many tokens and the government does not know how to control the money. If you send a, a bad transaction in your bank account, it's very easy to track you down and put you in jail and seize your bank account. But in crypto, the, it's much easier to stay anonymous and, and, and countries basically uh, preserve the fiat system as, in my opinion, as a way of control and crypto and DeFi, all this kind of thing is threatening the control of the government on using this kind of fiat system uh, because crypto is internet money, is the money of the people and governments and banks doesn't like it. So what they do, they fight, they fight back, they do regulations. Um, they're trying to regulate the unregulated. This is a, a, actually a term that I heard in uh, Antop, which is a great lecturer about Bitcoin, about cryptocurrencies and blockchains. And he's saying they are trying to regulate the unregulated, this impossible mission. And the first thing that they are trying to do, they, they only do actually, is to regulate the centralized exchanges. Because these are the targets that are easier to regulate, right? Because they have a company, they have a CEO, they have shareholders, they have um, everything. They have data about the clients. It's not anonymous. If you sign up, you have to sign up with your uh, email and name. And sometimes they force you to do KYC, know your customer and provide your ID or passport. So the easiest way for the, for the country is to go and start going to the centralized exchanges. And this is what we're seeing right now in the markets. And who is the biggest exchange? Who is the most active exchange with the highest amount of volume? You guess it right, it's Binance. And all the governments are going against Binance, so I'm not, I'm, in my opinion, it's not Binance fault. Don't be mad on Binance that they are demanding for you to do KYC. Recently, me, my friends, I hear from many, many people that are getting this kind of notifications, this kind of messages for Binance. You have 48 hours to verify your account. They are trying to offer you money for free. They, are, they tried a lot of things and now they start to put the force. So you have 48 hours to verify your account or we seize your account. You will not be able to trade. You will not be able to withdraw the funds. If you have funds right now in Binance and you do not do KYC, you do not show them proof of identity, proof of address, upload passport, basically your funds are lost. You don't have any way to take it 
out okay so by the way if you didn't do so and you want to stay anonymous in your crypto and you respect your privacy and you don't want that a centralized exchange will force you to reveal and upload to some kind of centralized database all your most private information then you do your thinking and you decide it's not a financial advice and not an advisor i'm just sharing with you the news and the thoughts and what's going on right now in the crypto world so as you can see right now, crypto billionaire uh, CZ, Binance, everyone knows CZ, to see some Binance services in Singapore amid regulatory scarantinity. And actually Singapore is one of the first countries that now you're forbidden from trading there. I have friends there that tell me that they withdraw all the funds from Binance because basically one day the regulators in Singapore tell guys you cannot use Binance, you cannot use cryptocurrencies, it's forbidden china also bans cryptocurrencies and and people in singapore right now has to withdraw the funds and this is another article binance to stop singapore users buying or trading crypto on main platform this is huge and this is you have to remember it's not binance fault you think that Binance don't want to do business in Singapore? They do, but the government's trying to make the hardest life for these kind of companies and it's not their fault and this is what happens. And yeah, you can, uh, we will not read all the article, but you get the idea right now. Binance, out of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges, said on Monday that users in Singapore would no longer be allowed buy and trade cryptocurrencies on its main platform. To comply with local regulation this is sad this is very sad that countries instead of braving crypto and using it taking advantage of it they actually block it and do this kind of things but this is what it is and we have to uh, face it and move on and see what kind of solution we have this is another article binance titans kyc policy to appease regulators so if you got this kind of message this is actually quite new from 18th of September, they have to tighten their KYC policy. It's not their fault against the countries. They need to comply to this kind of regulators. They are basically choking them, all right? It's a global cryptocurrency exchange facing increasing scarcity from regulators. Binance has introduced a user verification policy for assets and institutional protection from criminal activity, right? Criminal activity, basically it means tracking they want to track all your tokens they want to track all the funds they want to connect wallet and account on Binance to your face why because the countries cannot lose control they cannot lose control on the monetary system and they are trying to attack first the centralized exchanges and we'll see how it will affect the cryptocurrency ecosystem and what I think will happen. Binance hire Zen Wong as director of KYC compliance. They even hire the new professional uh, director of KYC compliance. This kind of girl, she is responsible for the KYC. So they need to level it up because of the regulations. And I think you got the idea. And this is the last one. Why Binance is bearish on its own exchange. So you have CZ Binance that actually is saying that he's bearish on its own exchange. And guess what he's bullish on? Yes, you're absolutely right. On decentralized exchanges and probably on Binance Smart Chain. So he's more bullish on Binance Smart Chain because it's harder to regulate it than centralized exchanges. Binance become the largest crypto exchange in the world by, prefe by prefetching in a stateless model that avoided highly regulated activities. Now its founder tells Axios that model is doomed why it matters no industry moves faster than crypto when the industry shift you've got to be willing to abandon your old business says cz or cz the billionaire who founded Ch uh, binance in china then they moved to hong kong and they moved many countries because of the regulations um yeah let's go to the down the important part right here the bottom line cz wants to move in two directions simultaneously towards a greater embrace of regulation and regulators and also towards a greater um, reliance on decentralized finance protocol this is more important uh, this is more important the second part is more important and we'll read it again towards a greater reliance on decentralized finance protocols because cz understand that this is the future this is much harder to regulate in order for that strategy to succeed there will be needed to be a lot of more regulations on DeFi than currently exist good luck with that so they are trying to regulate the unregulated how do you regulate DeFi? 
Right, you go to the developers. But what if the developers are anonymous? Now, maybe if you are familiar with PangaSwap and you think that in the beginning you ask yourself why the developers are anonymous, maybe it's a scam, maybe it's a rug pull, now you understand why they want to stay anonymous. Because if they are not anonymous, guess what the first thing that the regulars, regulators are doing? Look at this. Regulators investigate crypto exchange developer Uniswap Labs. So they, they are not only trying to regulate the centralized exchanges, now they are going to the DEX developers to Uniswap, the biggest decentralized exchange, and they go to the developers since they are not anonymous. It will be much harder to go to PancakeSwap because the team is anonymous. So it will be harder to regulate the DEXs. So that's why they start with the SEXs and not just with the SEXs, the biggest centralized exchange, which is Binance. And how do you think it will affect the world, the crypto world, the crypto ecosystem? And I have an answer for you guys. You will see more and more and more money being withdrawn, less reserves on centralized exchanges, on Binance Wallet, on Bitfinex Wallet, KuCoin, Kraken, all these kind of exchanges, they will go down. And these centralized exchanges will go up. And this is the next stage, in my opinion, of the crypto and blockchain world. And this is amazing. This is, this is the, the, the history that we are right now having. So we had the, the Bitcoin in the beginning, the, where you could not even trade it. And then you had some exchanges. You had Mt. Gox, which has been hacked. And then you had more and more exchanges, BTCE and Bitfinex and Binance and all these kind of exchanges and Gate.io, so many exchanges. And now they started to ask for KYC because of the regulators. And now all the money all the tokens are moving into dexes and i have a proof for you guys so you know this website this website is quite cool it's called cryptocant and it actually tracks ethereum or bitcoin outflows and inflows from exchanges and look at this right now eth all exchanges reserve this is the reserve that in eth tokens that all the exchanges have so they gather a lot of data they track a lot of exchanges hot wallets and they track how much eth they have and look what happened since january 21 to september 21 look at the the here the purple chart is the ethereum reserves of the decentralized of the centralized exchanges binance bitfinex kucoin etc etc and you can see how it goes down guys it goes down ether price goes up and ether reserve on centralized exchanges goes down so most of the money is moving to the wallets moving to decentralized wallet like metamask trust wallets different kind of wallets on different blockchains sometimes it's balance merchant ethereum polygon avalanche phantom solana you a cardano you name it but the reserves on the centralized exchanges are going down and they will get doomed soon so they are regulating the satellite exchange. They want to track your privacy. Move to decentralized exchanges. Again, it's not a financial advice or legal advice. It's just my opinion. And, and I think this is the future of the crypto world. And you can see another cool thing is here on Etherscan, you can track the Binance Hot Wallet. And you can see right here also how the Ether reserve on May were higher and then they go down and down and down. So the Binance Wallet has less and less reserves this is a huge thing that happens right now in crypto everyone if my subscribers of my watcher do your own thinking where you want to be if you have funds on binance what you want to do with this kind of funds uh, in my opinion it's not a, a smart move to leave it there because i don't like when actually people are telling me what to do with my money and they're demanding for all this kind of privacy that i have and they're keeping it somewhere in the database i don't know where i respect my privacy I'm not a criminal, I'm not doing anything criminal, I just respect my privacy. And when I have the other option to exit the system that requires me for KYC, for restrictions, verifications, I'm basically leaving, I'm saying bye-bye. That's why we're leaving banks, that's why we're leaving the fiat system, because we don't like it anymore, right? We use it because we have to use it, it's, it's still there, we have to buy things, we have to pay for our rent, we have to buy groceries, but we are not keeping our savings there. Again, it's not a financial advice, just sharing you my thoughts, my opinion about this kind of thing. And this is what's going on, so it's it moved from fiat to centralized exchanges and now we are moving to Web 3.0, to DeFi, to decentralized exchange and I think this is huge and this is amazing. 
So I hope this guide, this video, not guide, was interesting for you as it was interesting for me to make it. And I hope that I, I opened your mind a little bit about what's going on right now in the crypto world and where it's going. And please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I'll be very happy to start conversation with you guys. And please consider also subscribing and smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you like my channel and my content, tell your friends about Johnny Time, tell your friends about these kind of videos so your friends can learn as well. Once again, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.